If you have oily smell and uh, you want to know number one reason for that, make sure you stand till the end and we'll explain common mistakes people make that can de destroy your engine practically. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Dodge Challenger and if you smell burning oil smell inside the cabin through the heater uh, and you wonder what usually causes that, stay with us, we'll explain the number one thing for that. Common mistakes people make when fixing that leak that can actually destroy your engine and uh, something if not fixed right you will develop that leak almost immediately so we will explain what we're talking about make sure to stay tuned in we'll cover very helpful information today so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here in the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can oh we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video uh, if you need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Challenger or any car, you want to save quite a bit of money, get them at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So, let's start on it now. So, what we have here is 2018 Dodge Challenger. And this is 3.6, but even if you have a V8 engine, it will work as well. Let's explain what we have here specifically. This is guys, okay, the engine that we have. This is a 3.6 engine. We'll be taking that engine completely apart and we'll have videos how to fix pretty much anything on it. So uh, it will be very beneficial guys if you subscribe in the long run, we can save you thousands of dollars on repairs. We'll be taking the engine apart, transmission, the whole dot challenger. So not to say a big word, but on this specific car probably we'll end up having at least 500 videos. Now, what we have here guys okay this is you can see the left cylinder head on top of the cylinder head like this one here usually have a valve cover the number one reason for oil smell okay will be leaking valve cover gasket because you can see this is the gasket right here with uh, time and heat that gasket flatten it loses its flexibility and it start dripping oil usually on the side of the engine and that's where your exhaust manifold will be located and it will start burning uh, and it will smell like oh, burning engine oil but uh, there are a few mistakes people make here now and I want to share that with you because I've seen it happen firsthand and you want to avoid it so you don't end up paying so much money guys so uh, now looking at it number one reason will be an oil leak for burning oil smell and the most common one will be a valve cover gasket because that's right there where the exhaust is Number two, when fixing that valve cover gasket, make sure you place all the components of the valve cover gasket. The main gasket, those are the gaskets for the spark plug wells right here. Gasket for the camshaft position sensor there. You have a gasket, okay, on the back side for, uh, this is for the PCV valve. And you have two gaskets on the front. This is for the variable timing actuators right here. Because if you have an oil leak and you don't fix it, that oil leak can contaminate the connectors and the wires or the ones underneath. That can affect communication and you may end up with weird codes that are hard to diagnose in some cases. Another thing, when replacing valve cover gasket, right here guys, you can see where the timing cover meets the engine block. You have two places where you need to clean the old silicone, clean the whole area with rubbing alcohol, make sure it's dry and you're going to apply two small drops of silicone one here one there if you don't do that uh, you will develop oil leaks on the front side of the valve covers okay that's something that i see quite common that people forget to do that and even though they replace the gasket it will be still leaking so you don't want that to happen guys if you want to see the complete video how to replace the valve cover gasket we'll have it on our channel and it will teach you how to avoid mistakes one of those there are a few but one of those is dropping something in the intake manifold or the engine and if you do that guys you don't know about it you start the car you will destroy your engine and you may end up spending thousands of dollars i've seen it happen friends doing that accidentally and they ended up putting new engine in their car so another thing when you install the valve cover always use the torque specs for valve cover gasket because if you don't use the correct torque specs you can strip the bolts or your gasket will not seal correctly and that will cause a leak and you will be doing the job again hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching and see you next time